Relima is a small village in the southeast of Rwanda. Only a few homes have electricity. Even fewer have internet access. Olive Mira Hakizimana wants to apply for an office job. This is why she's going to the IT bus. The bus is a mix between an internet cafe and a computer school. Inside, people learn how to write emails and navigate the web. Today, a lot of jobs require the use of a computer. I can learn a lot here that will help me later at work. Others come here to read about courses offered at the university. The IT bus offers these people a bigger range of opportunities. IT instructors help people find their way. Richard Maragi Yamana teaches them how to use the program's Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. He explains how search engines and social network sites work. The IT bus stays at each location for three weeks. Then it drives to the next village. People in the rural area didn't have the facilities to access com a computer. So the IST bus came to remove that gap between the rural area and the city. Rwanda's government finances the mobile communications project. It hopes programs like this one can change the developing country into an information-driven society. Program organizers have high hopes for the project and for Rwanda. The big vision that this country has is to be an uh, ICT hub. So the Rwanda government would like to be an ICT hub for not only uh, East Africa, but also as a regional, as, uh, as African hub. Rwanda's government continues to invest in IT development. It wants nationwide access to high-speed internet. The capital, Kigali, already has a state-of-the-art fiber optic network. People in Kigali can use public computers or take computer courses at local community centers. The nonprofit organization One Laptop Per Child hands out laptops for school to Rwandan school kids. Currently, only around 8% of people in Rwanda are online. The IT bus gives people in rural areas better access to the Internet. The mobile computer school helps villagers join online communities and connect with people around the world. It's great. I can use the internet to quickly send a message, even to another country. Olive Mira Hakizimana has finished writing her application. She will come back tomorrow to format it. At the end of the week, she will send off the application by email. After getting people online and teaching them how to use the computer, the bus drives on to the next village.